gasoline I smell? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you all are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today guys I want to talk about some exciting news regarding Scream 10. Not Scream 10. <laughs> Saw 10. Come on, what's wrong with me? So, Saw 10 set photo reveals first look at Tobin Bell's return as Jigsaw. Jigsaw will be back once again for the 10th Saw movie now in production. A new photo has been shared from the set of Saw 10, aka Saw X, as it's also being referred to, and it includes the return of a major character. It was previously revealed that Tobin Bell would appear in the 10th film to reprise his role as John Kramer, the mastermind behind the Jigsaw experiments. How he'll be worked into the story remains to be seen. Considering the character has long been dead in the Saw universe, uh, but you can catch a sneak peek at his return by checking out the set photo floating around on social media So as you can see this is the photo This is the photo uh, and as you can see yeah, you got Tobin Bell in there and honestly I gotta say that he looks pretty old now obviously when I looked up how old Tobin Bell is because I completely forgot about his age He's actually 80 years old. So next year, because this movie is coming out on uh, in October, in October 2023, so he's gonna be like 81 when he's when this movie is gonna release, which is interesting to say at least. And he looks just so weak and old, which I know. I mean, he's 80 years old, right? But still, I don't know, like. Is this, is this guy supposed to be a threat in this movie? Now, obviously, the main question is, uh, is this a prequel? Yes, f for the most part, from what I know, this movie should be a prequel. It should take place between Saw 2 and Saw 3, and that's what we know so far. So it's a prequel set between Saw 2 and Saw 3, and... It has Tobin Bell, aka John Kramer, in it. So, honestly, it's. Um, I want to give you some thoughts because I am not the biggest Saw fan in the world, but I do like this franchise. You know, I think that it has some amazing movies in it, and obviously some really bad ones, <coughs> Saw 3D. But um, all in all, I really, really do like Saw, especially the first one. Oh my god, I, I just love that movie. But, um, I mean, I, I, I don't know why this direction. You know, why they went with this direction. Why making a prequel, you know, set between Saw 2 and Saw 3. Now, I gotta say, Saw, Saw 2 and Saw 3, I think that's a great trilogy in my opinion. But, I mean, why would you make this? You know, just let the men rest, you know, just let Jigsaw rest, let Tobin Bell rest, you know, I mean, he's 80 and he looks, you know, just like so old and just so, I don't know, just weak in that photo and maybe it's, a, maybe he's supposed to be, you know, but I mean, I don't know, I, I don't think that this was a great idea and again, I enjoyed Tobin Bell in those early Saw movies. You know, I actually really enjoyed this character of John Kramer, and and I thought that he was really really good. But bringing him back again, yeah, I I don't know how that's gonna work out. You know, and especially making this a prequel, set between Saw two and Saw three, I, I I just don't know. I I don't I don't think that this is gonna work. Now obviously, this movie could come out and it's gonna be like the most amazing movie ever and it's gonna be the best Saw sequel and I'm gonna be like okay you know I was wrong that, that can totally happen but I mean I, I just don't think that it's going to you know and honestly I really enjoyed uh, for example Spiral from the Book of Saw I know that a lot of people hate that movie but for me it's a movie that's enjoyable it has Chris Rock in it it has Samuel L. Jackson in it and it, it, I, I think it's a great movie you know, and I enjoyed that it was different enough so I can enjoy it as like sort of a fresh take on the Saw franchise, you know. But bringing back, bringing back Tobin Bell, making this a prequel, 
I, I just don't know if this is gonna work, you know, and honestly, again, you can't make this into a franchise again now, right? Because essentially you had the Jigsaw movie uh, that was like uh, from 2017, that was supposed to be a reboot, never happened. Uh, then in 2020, we got, no, 2021, that was last year, right? We got a spiral from the Book of Saw that was also supposed to be a reboot, where, you know, every movie you'll get like a different uh, John Kramer inspired killer. Uh, that never happened, and now with this one, you can't even make this into a trilogy or a franchise or whatever because you're just making a prequel set between Saw 2 and Saw 3. Now, maybe I'm just overthinking this, you know. At the end of the day, I'm always happy when a new Saw movie comes out because it's always fun to see that movie, but I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts about this down below. Are you happy that John Kramer is back? Are you happy that this is a, a prequel set between Saw 2 and Saw 3? Let me know your thoughts about this, because, again, I, I don't really know how to feel about it. Again, I... I don't know. I, I, I just don't think it's gonna work well, but maybe the movie, you know, is gonna come out and it's gonna be amazing. Who knows? But we'll obviously see, guys. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, as always, guys, and bye.